Hello guys and welcome to a mini series slash mod spotlight. This is a mod spotlight in which it will take several videos. So I'm calling it a mini series. But yes, the mod I'm going to be showing off is the Home Nations mod. Which is a mod that gives you the opportunity to release the Home Nations of Great Britain. I.e. Wales and Scotland and the whole of Ireland and Cornwall. And I've made a save and I'm going to be playing in this, this campaign here. I'm going to be playing as Cornwall. The industrial powerhouse of Cornwall. Oh yes. How about that? We have we have a one civilian factory. Are you sure we do? Oh, uh, it's used on consumer goods. Okay. So yes, we are Cornwall. We have one civilian factory. We have absolutely nothing else. So, how do we fix that? Well, we would want to get a military factory, but as soon as we have no supplies to build anything with, we're going to have to get a civilian factory. So you're going to have to go down the industrial effort straight away and try to get the construction efforts. But while we're here, we may as well research some other things for later on. We only have 16 manpower, so we want our troops to be as good as possible. So we're going to want some better research and buildings for industry. Let's go for industry uh, construction here. Let's go for this right here for extra research later on. And let us go to... Research time again... No, let's start with the land doctrine. Superior firepower, I think, as we are, you know, small. We want to have the best firepower we can. So we start off with 16 men. That's not very many at all. That's actually quite the opposite of many. But what we do have is uh, this naval base and this airfield. So we can have planes. We don't have a dockyard to actually build any ships to use this naval base with, but we do, we do have... Do we have planes? <laughs> Right, so we are going to want some military factories here as soon as we can. So I'll start this one and maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to get it built at some point. So yes, this is the Home Nations mod. You have the nation of Cornwall over here. You have the nation of Wales over here. You have the nation of Scotland over here. Now, uh, Wales and Cornwall have the same named leader. I guess that's because they are the same culture. I don't know. Whereas Scotland is a uh, completely different culture. They have elections. We have elections. We have elections. And we're all going to be staying democrat, it looks like. I don't think we'll be able to switch to anything else anytime soon. So, we are stuck. Waiting for an industry. And our manpower just shot up. We no longer have just 16 men. We have 4.94 thousand. How about that? But yes, we're going to be waiting around just a lot. It's going to be a lot like my Luxembourg series. We have to wait and wait and wait while slowly building. Maybe World War II will fire off. We have to see. But Luxembourg, I had a lot less manpower than I do in Cornwall. But we'll see. The rise of Cornwall shall be great. So yes, I'll leave a link to this uh, this mod in the description below. You can go ahead and check it out. If you want to check out with this. But the nations do not start out. You have to load up in a non Iron Man save. You have to then release them. And then you have to reload and play as them there. Now what is this light bluey sort of colour there? It's the same with these guys. Those actually have factories. So they want to be going down. Not the army efforts. Yes the industrial efforts. Scotland knows what they're doing. Wales are just, just useless. We're all sort of useless. But they're more useless. We're trying to not be useless. They haven't quite reached that stage yet. Volunteer only. <laughs> How much manpower does a colonial garrison take up? 6,000. Ah. I'm going to want my division being even stronger than that, but we'll have to wait and see. Okay then, Cornwall. Show us your best. Spanish Civil War has occurred. Unlucky. And it has ended. Alright then. Maybe that's a, uh, a mod related bug. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen that one before. And I've never played with this mod before. So maybe maybe those two things are together. And equal the fact that the mod caused that. I don't, I don't know. We'll have to find out. Well, we're not going to have to find out. Right, the Rhineland has been remilitarized. I was uh, a little bit late on this. So we got it a day later, but we do have that. 
efforts. Now we're going to go down the construction efforts because we are going to want to import materials if we are ever going to hope to actually do anything. But I might just go down the route of uh, getting them before doing any military factories because they can actually build the military factories. We'll have to see. When the time's come, we'll have to see. But until then, we just have to wait. It'd be nice to have one factory, so at least then I could stockpile some weapons. But I don't know. Can we edit and rename you? You are going to be the... Uh... I always like this sigil. You're going to be the... Uh... Cornish... Spec Ops... Uh, what's something Cornish I can think of? No. Spec Op. Ah, uh, can't think of anything. It's not like when I play a Sweden I can name everything Knugans. I don't know anything actually Cornish. Plymouth. Nah, let's call it... Yeah, let's call it Ply. Cornish Special... I can't remember what I... Cornish Overpowered Special Operatives. Opso. There you go. Opso. Cornish Overpowered Special Operatives. Lovely. We'll name them. Get rid of everything else because we don't need anything else. They're all stupid. Just go away. We are the Cornish Special Overpowered Special Operatives. Yes. Yes, that's what we are. I'm actually going to have an election, which is quite a shame. At least we have the opportunity to switch a lot easier when we start with like level 20s to a 60. Like, you don't have that. These guys do because we'll start exactly the same. Doctrine effort, you seriously? Scotland knows. They've already got four of those factories. They've got two of those. So these guys could get a military factory and start building stuff. We don't have that possibility in Cornwall. Ah, Cornwall. World beaters, eh? Cornwall. Wall of corn. Yes. That's just weird. Playing as corn Cornwall. Just why? Construction effort has been had. Which means you are now being built to be done by 38. That's, that's a bit too long, I'm afraid. Do I get... I'll get one military factory. And then I'll at least start stockpiling guns. And after that we'll go down the other routes. But yes, we'll also go for this. Because I always go for this. I just like to have my guys doing their jobs actually constructing. So, it's always nice to do. Well, that's nice. Addis Ababa, whatever it's called, has been done. Now, am I going to want to naval... No. No, if I do anything naval-wise, I'll already have other ports. I would have annexed them. But yes, we have a, uh, a law here. I don't know what we're going to go for. Is there anything? Fascist demagogue. We could start our trip towards another ideology, but... No. There's no... Really? There's nothing there? Nothing there either. There is stuff here, though. I guess we just have no people. Okay, now let's go. Let's get to uh, limited conscription here. There you go. 17,000 people. Glory to us. I will want to go fascist because of manpower reasons. Fascism gets a lot more manpower, and I quite honestly need it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I need it pretty badly. Strafing the bow. That's only 25%. That's only a couple hundred thousand men. That's uh, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> Hopefully my men will be fighting to the best of their capabilities once I actually start producing them gear to use, that is. But soon. Soon we'll start having factories. It'll be great. Yeah, totally. That'll totally happen. We'll actually have factories. Oh yes, that's why I need the other factories for the imports. 
So we need to get enough one to import stuff after because I'll need steel for my guns. Yes. Absolutely. In which case, maybe I should get a synthetic oil refinery for other resources later. I've never actually gone down that route. I still got construction speed. But this refinery here, what does it do again? Yes, what does it do? Can uh, to reduce dependence on oil, process and manufacture substances from other substances materials can be researched. Ah. I'm not entirely... Processes to manufacture sub... I still have to build it. Oh no, let's, uh, let's go... I did start a doctrine, yes? I did. Let us start researching other things. Artillery! Yes, please. I've been wanting very good soldiers. The very few men I want, I have, I want them to at least be half decent at their job. Which would include artillery and light tanks being in the divisions. So let's get this armament effort, please. I would very much appreciate it. Come on, fellows. Hurry up yourselves. We have work to do here. 68, 69, come on, 70, there we go. So we now have an armament effort, but we're going to be needing more construction effort, so we'll go ahead for that now. But, at the very least, we can begin building our guns. We do not have the materials to build many. We build three individual guns per month from scrap metal, but we do have the potential here to buy some steel from the UK. I'll take up my one and only factory, but that now means I can actually build one gun a day instead of three a month. So there we go. We are going to be building up guns. So let's train a division here and see them slowly but surely get equipped. Obviously have to spawn over here. There's nowhere else for them to spawn. The Cornish Overpowered Special Operatives. Yes. With their 16 guns. Very nice. Obviously, this will get higher as we go along, but... Eh, yeah, yes, will be fine. There's no need to worry. We'll have all of our guns eventually. Go through other factories. We'll have a spare one over here to start having this constantly being produced. That will also help a bit. Very nice. No need to do excavation. We have no natural resources. Uh, let's research some tanks now. I might be able to get up to light tank before we starts having the capabilities of producing them. Let's look at all this stock we're building, eh? I wonder if our world is getting on now. Do you have anything of note? Equipment effort, but you still have no military factories. Scotland still has no military factories either, but they have a lot of uh, naval stuff. They do actually have ships. A limited conscription. Everyone has limited conscription, okay. Okie dokie, as you say, mate. Well, one day we'll have a division. And this will be great. There's no need to worry. Just need to get these extra factories. <laughs> one day. And I will slowly try to turn fascist so I can get through the other ideologies after we take all of our factories. Czechoslovakia. Very nice. What are you doing, Berlin? Anschluss? No industrial efforts. You definitely need the extra factories, don't you, Germany? Definitely. Yes. At least if I had a resource I could export, I could then get some extra factories out of it, but I, I just don't. It's quite a damper, I must say. Three guns a day. Come on, boys. That's a hundred days to get all those guns. Excellent construction effort is now up, which means these guys will not constantly be burning, so now need the other guy on consumer goods. This is ridiculous. It's meant to be 30%. Why are two thirds on consumer goods? That's that's crazy. That doesn't make any sense. Why? Why is that happening? Just why? So that's infrastructure. I don't want infrastructure. 
We just have to go down this effort now because infrastructure is uh, the only other option. Unlucky. Right, so that's put a bit of a damper on my plans because that has gone into um, consumer goods. Consumer good factories. How do we get rid of you? 10%, 25 is lower than 30. Uh, fascists or communists. I'll just have to wait, I think. But at the very least, we can continue having extra firepower for our very few men in existence. Glorious. While we create some guns. Yes. Very good. Nearly create four a day. Not bad, eh? Maybe someday we'll uh, have more. Just the slight issue of issues. <laughs> I can't even take any of those. Great. Uh, what's this? Resources to market, factory output, construction speed, description. Again, I don't need to do that just yet. But I will take a fascist demagogue because I... Younger generation. I would like to... Uh, Get those extra manpower stuff. Moses Grafeed. Do you have the exact same guy? I can't tell. Still no military factories, eh, Wales? What about you, Scotland? You have one. Scotland might eventually have an army. How about that? Is that not a dream? I could actually have an army right now. They're just half equipped and half trained. Which is obviously terrible. But, sure. Whatever. Just look at them. <laughs> oh, Cornwall. What are you doing, mate? What are you doing? Turn you fascist, eh, Cornwall? Brilliant. Good stuff, mate. Toad artillery. Which means... Improved artillery. We don't actually have any, but sure, let's make our non-existent artillery a bit better, shall we? Sure. That's a great idea, mate. Meanwhile, I can't actually build anything else. I'm going to have another factory here, which will be able to create more guns. I do have the resources for that. So it's just a bit of chaos, really. Let's get those extra civilian factories. I'm supposed to be getting over here, but they are just... The game has failed us. Right, good, we've got an extra factory. See, infrastructure, this is... I don't want infrastructure. Come on. I want civilian factories. This is what we need. Stop putting them, on, putting them on consumer goods. The people expect 30% of our local total to produce consumer goods. This, this does not make sense. Wait. Total number of factories. Ah. Ah. Not total number of cons uh, civilian factories, total number of factories. Ah. I see. I may have done goofed a bit, but oh well. We still have one spare. Isn't that great? We now produce nearly seven guns a day. We actually have a surplus of guns. But anyway, that'll do for this first episode. And we have a trained division. The Cornish army exists. Ha ha ha. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Remember to see you come back and leave likes and subscribe and stuff. See you again. Bye-bye.